hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here I am Ufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel so today I woke up and I felt like pink vibes plum vibes blush vibes but beginner friendly and melanin friendly so i just gathered up what was in my makeup collection what was in my mind so we're going to be creating a very um simple but very glam look and i am trying out the new uh wait hold on this is the huda beauty full filter foundation I don't think this is the new one but I got it right before the new one came out but I've always wanted to try this foundation and it's in the shade cinnamon and it's very very full coverage I've had a lot of good things about it so I've been wanting to try it out so today you're gonna try it out with me so if you want to see how this video is gonna go down carry on watching and let's just get right into it going to be priming my skin with a milk hydro grip primer I'm just going to put that all over my skin I'm laying my edges hence this situation right here yeah so we are going to get into the foundation I've been skipping the foundation powder before foundation technique simply because the weather is a little bit dry these days so I really don't think that it's um, useful to do that otherwise I'm going to be drying out my skin too much but once the weather gets a little bit hot I'm going back to my powder before foundation anyways this is what the foundation looks like I love the the packaging it's amazing and wow the pump it looks very expensive mm, but it's a little bit expensive i'm going to be applying it um at the back of my hand and i'm going in with two pumps at first very very rich and very very golden i can't really smell very well these days but um can pick up something small and it smells quite nice so yeah I'm going to just apply that onto my face it's definitely around my skin tone and it's definitely very golden so I like that so I'm gonna blend it out with the real techniques um, face aspect brush this is definitely full coverage And it has a very nice smell like I don't know exactly what they smell it but I can definitely smell something nice okay I'm gonna move this back so I don't mess it up this is definitely very very full coverage Wow I like this I really like this so I'm gonna go over with a beauty blender ouch ow ouch 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 I think I was watching a tutorial from Kali or Kylie I don't know how to pronounce it I think it's Kali Bible and she was raving about this foundation and I definitely have heard so many good, good things about it about, about the coverage and all that and I didn't have the means to buy it when it first came out but I definitely don't regret getting it if you want a very full coverage this is the one this is the one I'd wanted to do like a wear test but this foundation has been out very very long ago so I feel like or oh, I felt like this isn't the time or the foundation to do a wear test for but yeah this is very full coverage I really like this one so for concealer today I'm going to be contouring first I'm using my cream contour stick from black opal stick foundation uh, black opal cosmetics uh, in the shade suede mocha 
and I'm gonna blend it out with the sculpting brush from Real Techniques. So I'm going to be highlighting with the Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love this stuff. I just got my hands on the second shade like this one in the shade Tan. I really really love these concealers. So I'm going to go in with the shade Tan and I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes and my forehead and the bridge of my nose my mustache area and the my chin so i really love this stuff like it's an amazing concealer i'm gonna be blending it out with the real techniques um brush the contour brush So I'm going to go over with a beauty blender just to blend everything out a little more. And then blend out my nose highlight. I haven't blended out the contour on my nose yet. I would in a little bit. I'm gonna go back in and highlight with um, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I took off the, <clears throat> I took off the thing. <laughs> um, the thing was coming off into my skin, like whenever I like use it. So I just took it off and I'm using the thing directly. I don't know what they are called, but yeah. I'm going in with the shade Sand Sable. I'm just going to apply it like right underneath my eyes because I want a really highlighted look. I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge. Now I'm gonna go back in with a brush just to blend out the edges, the contour brush. My sister is calling me on FaceTime. Okay guys, so I went off for a little bit but I had to set my under eyes because it was crease city over here. I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my under eyes. And I'm going to be setting my um, the bridge of my nose as well as my forehead with the same setting powder. I'm just going to go ahead and set the side well. I'm going to bake this side as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Fenty Beauty um, setting powder in the shade Honey. This is very close to my skin tone, so I like to set the rest of my face with it just to prevent further creasing. I'm also going to set my brow area just so that the brow products don't move over there. So for my brows, 
I'm going in with the Evita Joseph Esper Brow Liner in the shade Rich Espresso. So I'm going to fill out the rest of my brows with the Davis Cosmetics Brow Liner. I'm going in with a concealer from Maybelline that I used earlier just to sculpt out my brows. I'm gonna go over my brows with the foundation that I used. So guys, if you want me to film like a detailed brow tutorial, kindly comment down below so I film it. I don't know if it would be useful to film a brow tutorial, honestly, because I don't want it to be redundant because there are a lot of brow tutorials on Instagram, um, on YouTube. So today I'm going to be using one of my favorite palettes, the Jackie Aina X Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes and i'm going to start off with i told you i was feeling pink vibes right so i'm gonna go into this shade right here this shade is called supreme and i'm just going to stamp that into my crease and just blend it out This is a very pretty color. So my eyelid, hmm. I'm thinking of going in with this color. This color is called Pinka. So I'm just going to stamp that all over my lid. Ooh, it's really pretty, very, very pretty. So I'm going to go back in to the shade Supreme. I'm just going to go back in and just, you know, smoke out um, the color I just went in, which is pinker. I just want to smoke it out a little bit. So my camera cut off on me. I was blending the shade supreme into my crease just to blend out any harsh lines making sure everything is nice and seamless now ever so likely i'm saying ever so likely because you shouldn't like go way way deep otherwise you're going to mess up the um gradients going on i'm gonna go back in with a shade pinker i'm gonna be really light like so and just tap off all the excess and just go very lightly right in between the shade pinker and supreme just like this just like this so i'm going to do same go in tap off any excesses and just go right in here
and that's just it that's all you're gonna be doing i'm going in with the shade mastos it has this it's like a pink mauve color and it's very glittery it's a very nice color i don't know if you guys can see it but this is what it looks like and i'm gonna spray my brush with some setting some setting spray this is very pigmented on its own i believe but i just want to be able to pick up some glitter and i'm gonna stamp that like right in my inner corner and then just like so wow this is so pretty like this is going to get all over the place you should be really careful when using it so this is all i'm going to be doing with this color i'm going to do same for the other eye I wasn't aware my camera died on me but I went in to put the colors that I put on my eyelid right and my lower lash line as well I'm gonna go in with the so aesthetics classic eyeliner Co Kajal in the shade Shiba black I'm gonna put that into my waterline to tight line this is hella black I really really like it it's very very pigmented so so I'm gonna go off camera to apply my eyelashes and I'm gonna be right back to continue this glitter sure does get everywhere but it's definitely worth it because it's so so pretty this is definitely the look that I thought I wanted to go for and I'm getting it so I'm going to dust off the this is why I do what I do guys like I put powder under my eyes is to bake and to catch fallout so you can see that everything is like leaving for the most part everything is gone so i'm going to apply the sephora micro smooth powder all over my face just to blend everything together okay so i'm going in with a real techniques um buffing brush to um bronze i'm using the coconutty bronzer from fenty beauty i was using mocha mami before but it's way too red for me so i am sticking to this one i'm using the same bronzer to go over my nose So for blush, I'm going in with the Milani Big Bron Big Blush. Um, I use this blush all the time. I really, really like it. And if I can find my blush brush, I will definitely be applying this. It's definitely in my lane because I'm going in for like a pink type of look. So I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continual Setting Spray. I'm gonna be applying some mascara whilst I wait for... My mascara face is so ugly. <laughs> It's definitely not pretty. To set my brows, I'm using some got to be gel. I always use this stuff. Ever since my brow gel got finished and I discovered this one, I don't think I've bought brow gel anymore. This stuff is the real deal. Getting it off your face is hella difficult. If you do oil cleansing before, then you can just get it off. But if you're just going in straight with a cleanser, you're going to struggle. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Gold Deposit. I'm going to be applying that, the bridge of my nose, the tip, my cupid's bow, and... Or my lips. Hmm. 
I'm using the Fenty Gloss uh, Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. I just discovered this and I can't put it down. It's so amazing. So I'm going to be lining my lips with a brown lip liner. So I want a pink, pink hue in my lips. And this one has like a burgundy hue to it. So I'm going to use that to go like go over the brown lip um, liner. You can just skip this and go over with the gloss, honestly. But as for me, this is what I want to do. Now I'm going to wipe off the excess in the middle. This is what I was trying to achieve in my inner lip like like this just like the pink hue burgundy hue kind of thing going on anyways I'm gonna go over with the gloss balm and the shade um, Fenty glue this is the best gloss hands down I've used like in a while okay guys so this sums up the makeup tutorial this is what the final look is like definitely definitely what i was going for i really really love this look and considering valentine's day is coming on you can actually use this look because it's very pretty whether you're single or you're married you can rock this and go on your date night or whatever indoors or with a mask on okay Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you once again for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in my next one. Everything I use will be down in the description box as usual. Bye guys.